It's a hot trend in high-intensity workouts, which probably explains why I haven't heard of it before. <laughs> Professional wellness coach Allie McWilliams is here to talk about Tabata. Yeah. So first of all, what the heck is Tabata? Like you said, it's a high-intensity workout. Mm -hmm. um, it is mimicked after Tabata, so it's a Tabata-inspired workout, so it's 20 seconds of high intensity with a 10-second rest. And then you cycle through that eight times, so the 10 seconds isn't really a rest. Wow. So and it's high, high intensity. Okay, and I guess it started with some Japanese Olympians kind yes, of... Yes, uh, cycling. Out of that. On the right. cycling, right. right. So, so what are the benefits of it? Uh, people are going to love this. So number one, it burns a lot of calories in a short amount of time, which who doesn't want that? Number two, increases your cardiovascular endurance. So if you're looking to up that, mm -hmm. it's super efficient. So if you're short on time, you can get that workout in. Number four, it increases your metabolism. And number five, it is great. You can do it right now with us today. You don't need any equipment or gym membership. You can do it at your house, the park, or a hotel. Well, since you can do that anywhere, let's let's have an example here. You're going to do a little bit of a workout Yeah, so example. I'm going to do a little Tabata circuit. Here. So we're going to do high knees is the first one. Okay. So high intensity, high impact here. If you do not want the high impact, you're here doing the knees. So you're doing this for 20 seconds. Then you rest for 10. You go right back into the high knees for 20 oh seconds gosh. and then rest. The next one, you're going to come right into a plank. You're going to plank punch. So if you're here on your toes, <laughs> you're plank punching. Or if you're new to this, you can be on your knees plank punch. Again, you come down, rest after the 20. Come up after 10 seconds. You do this again, either on your knees or your toes. So after you go through that cycle twice, then you can do jacks so for that, 20 those I've heard of. Yeah, that we had those back in the or low Middle impact. Ages. Okay. Rest. Jacks. And then dips. And then dips. So of course if you have a chair at home, you'll get greater range of motion. So you'll do this okay. for 20 seconds. And this is rest. just part of this is 20. just part of Tabata. <laughs> yeah, so that's four minute cycle. You rest for a minute. And then on my blog, there's more workouts that you can do, or you can just repeat that one. So whatever works best for you. Now, you work out all the time. You do it for a living. So, But how, do, how did you feel after you did this Tabata for the first oh, time? Oh, yeah. When I tried it, I yeah, if you want to get your butt kicked, this is a really good workout to do. But should it replace other workouts that you do? Good or? question. No, this should just be added to what you're already doing. So it's a great way to just burn some calories and maybe lose some weight during the summertime. It's not something to do all year round either. So just kind of sprinkle it in with what you're currently doing. Okay, so it's uh, how many is 20 minutes and uh, how many times a week could you do that? Then? So yeah, once you warm up and you get your workout in, um, you could do it two or three times a week. So just ease into it though, add it once. A week at first. Okay, and what about things like cooling down, warming up, cooling down? People sometimes rush in because they're in a hurry. How important are those? It's very, very important. So make sure you're warming up for five minutes and then you're making sure that you're cooling down for five minutes afterwards. All right, well, I'm cooling down here <laughs> because I've been working very hard here <laughs> talking. So uh, I'm in my cool down, but we're going to tell you that if you want to find out more about Tabata, check out Allie's blog at AllieMcWilliams.com. We put a link to it at NBC15.com under news links. And we're right back with a final check of the forecast after the break. Thanks, Sally.